Well, hello once again, everybody. It is a bit windy outside here today, but it's such a beautiful day, I felt like recording outside anyway. So here you go. I'd like to start off by sharing with you a quote from The Lord of the Rings, which, in my humble opinion, is the greatest trilogy of movies ever recorded. And the quote is from a conversation between two characters, Frodo Baggins and Gandalf the Grey. Now, Frodo was tasked with carrying what is known as a ring of power. I can't get into the backstory too much. I just want you to know that it was an incredible, and I mean incredible, burden for him to carry. And so, here is the quote from the conversation between him and Gandalf the Grey. Frodo says, I wish the ring had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. Gandalf responds by saying, So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. <laughs> it's an incredible quote. And as I was thinking of this quote, I thought of a woman from the Old Testament named Esther. Esther was a Jew who became queen of the empire of Persia. And as she was reigning as queen, she became aware of an attempt to eradicate all of her people. In other words, all of the Jews in the empire. This was serious business, but she was kind of in a, in a pickle, if you will, because the king himself signed the edict to eradicate all of the Jews. This was her very husband. He was kind of hoodwinked into it. You get the sense he didn't really fully understand what was happening. But once the king made an edict in Persia, he could not take it back. Not to mention, the queen herself was not even allowed to approach his throne while he was sitting on it to conduct official business unless she was invited. If she did, she could lose her life. So, Here's her predicament, here's her pickle. And she's having this conversation now with a family member named Mordecai. And listen to the words that Mordecai shares with Queen Esther. He says, if you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jews will arise from some other place, but you and your relatives will die. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this. To me, that goes hand in hand with what Gandalf was saying to Frodo. So what did Queen Esther do? Well, she took courage. She approached the king as he was on his throne. Not only did he spare his, her life, but she, he made the situation right. Her people, the Jews, were saved. Brothers and sisters, we talked last week that there are times God will take us out of our comfort zones. There are times when we have to face things that we would rather not face. Small things, medium-sized things, large things, you name it, we face them. But God has created you, and he has created you for such a time as this. I encourage you, therefore, to be courageous in your everyday living, be courageous for those times that take you out of those comfort zones that you find yourselves in. And be courageous, most of all, for Jesus. Serve him. Share the gospel of his love and his grace. And remember, in the midst of it all, he'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. He will strengthen you in the midst of whatever it is you're facing he will give you the courage that is needed. Be resilient like Leah. Be resilient like Esther. Because you have been created for such a time as this. Be blessed and be a blessing.